in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Let's talk about demons. Let's talk a little bit. I have to, if I don't talk about demons, um, I'm looking at my course content here. Can we talk a little about demons? Matthew chapter 13, verse 24 to 30. Let's go to the parable of Jesus. I want us to study a bit on, on demons look at this another parable look up please he put forth unto them saying the kingdom of heaven that means the operation of the kingdom of heaven is likened to this a man which sowed good seed everybody say a man everybody say seed one more time say a man say seed he sowed good seed the fact that the bible specified good seed already is a message are we together remember my message during the prayer and fasting 25 but while men slept while men did what his enemy came also having a seed his enemy didn't come with a knife his enemy didn't come with a gun his enemy watched what he sowed and came with his own too. Watch this. And the Bible says he came and sowed tares among the wheat and did what? And went his way. He represented his presence with the seed. Are we together now? He went away. When he dropped that seed there, he didn't need to stay there again. Because he knew that the seed was a replica of himself. But when the blade was sprung up, so that which was a seed now became something else and brought forth fruit, then appeared tears also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, did, did not thou sow good seed in thy field? In other words, ah, didn't you get born again? Where did this come from? Are you not a pastor's child? Are you not a, 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 a prophet's daughter? Are you not, is it not you that was baptized yesterday? Where did this come from? From whence then had it tears? 28. And he said, an enemy has done this. And then his servant told him, will thou that we gather them up? And then he says, allow it. That's, that's what 29 and 30 says. Let's while we gather up the tears, we root up the wheat in them. And then verse 30 let them both grow together until harvest in the time of the harvest i will say to the reapers gather first the tears that means something will happen in the time of harvest that will show the difference but as it is now you can't see it and if in an attempt watch this if you understand this mystery you will know why you can be doing many things and god will not talk to you about it it doesn't mean that he doesn't see it is because if he wants to circumcise you at that level it will affect your growth process so bad so he will be patient with you to just grow you can be an arrogant man and God will never say anything about your arrogance so you will think that you are all right just because he's not talking about it a day will come as you keep working with him when he sees that you are now mature to undergo that level of spiritual circumcision he will take you back to the subject of arrogance and you will be surprised that you are in that level of height and now God is dealing with the issue of arrogance the seed the seed 
this this demon spirits that we're talking about we have to understand them you hear people say demons everywhere many of you here in koinonia and around you've seen demons come out of people you've seen their violence you've seen their aggression sometimes you hear people speak you know another spirit many of you watch tv around or go for meetings where you who are they where where do they come from genesis chapter 3 let's see how we can look at it oh jesus is god blessing us already genesis chapter 3 give us verse 15 genesis chapter 3 let me just touch on it and that god will grant us grace now by way of introduction to this i hope you know that paul the apostle paul the apostle did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that when the bible says darkness is a combination of many things i hope you know that when the bible says darkness and it says spirits dark spirits is not just one a consummation of just a group of demons it is the summation of every spirit entity and every kind of spiritual organogram that is antagonistic to the ways of god because I'll, as i'll be showing you there are many there are many this is the lord now speaking with the woman after their fall i'm just saving time that's why i said we should go to verse 15. if you're with me say amen and i will put enmity who is speaking here god between thee and the woman between satan and the woman god is speaking to them both now i will put enmity between you satan and the woman he would have stopped there and then we'll understand but then he says i will also put enmity between what thy seed and her seed so that the person he's talking to has seed are you getting what i'm saying now he's talking to satan as one who has seed the capacity to multiply himself and his agenda hi and he looks at the woman you don't talk to a woman about seed because you know from biology that women don't have seed they receive seed so the thing confused satan god why are you now talking about her seed where is it going to come from that's why the moment cain came satan believed that cain was that seed and tried to attack him from that day till moses till everybody till john the baptist once satan sees a male that a woman is giving birth to he starts pursuing them because he suspects that that may be the seed are you getting the point now between your seed and her seed now questions we have seen the seed of the woman we are part of that seed correct where is the seed of satan because the bible lets us know very clearly god himself speaking that as the woman is multiplying her own seed this spirit entity is multiplying his own seed too are we together genesis chapter 6 genesis chapter 6 and it came to pass i'm fast forwarding now it came to pass when men began to multiply upon the surface of the earth listen carefully it says and daughters were born unto them what happened verse 2 that the sons of god the hebrew word there is benign elohim it's not just sons of god like it was an error in translation it's not like sons of god like believers no are we together like like progenitors those who were part of his creation these were a class of angels that this class of angels came and saw the daughters of men do you know who these angels were these angels were not just the exalted angels because i hope you know that by the time the angels that fought with lucifer fell from heaven the ones that came down with him adam was not there adam's story and genesis one was not there they had fallen in a particular dispensation are you getting what i'm saying now mm. so by the time god is creating adam or recreating the earth and making adam there are already inhabitants in the earth 
Satan alongside the myriads of fallen angels. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Mm. And because spirits don't die in the context of cessation of life, I will tell you what the death of a spirit is. I, I, I told you I was going to tell you. But spirits don't die in the context of ceasing from breathing and ceasing from movement. The moment Adam came to start another race, these spirits were looking for a way to find expression. Are we together now? It's a very serious thing. And the Bible says that while they were voyaging around the earth, all of a sudden they saw the daughters of men that they were fair to look upon. It's a scriptural way of saying they were very beautiful. Are we together? That means those angels had feelings. Hello? It's not all the classes of angels that, you know, theologically there are all kinds of arguments whether angels have the, uh, the ability to reproduce or not. And we, we see it here that the angels saw the daughter of men, the daughters of men, and they took them wives. That means they could marry. They came down and saw beautiful ladies like you looking at me now. And the angels chose, they advised themselves. He said, look, let's marry these women. Verse 3. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for seeing that his flesh is dead shall be 120. Verse 4. There were what? Now watch this. The Bible just tells us that a, come darling, an angel, are we together now? A fallen angel, benign Elohim, all of a sudden sees human people, pure humans, and the Bible says, took them to wives. And all of a sudden, we now see the manifestation of a species that the Bible calls them what? I'm trying to trace the origin of demons for you. That giants, until this time, there were no demons on earth. There were fallen angels. There were other dark spirits that had been in other civilizations, but not demons. These giants were in the earth. The Bible says that when the sons of God came into the daughters of men you know what that means and they bear what children that means that the seed those fallen angels had seed within them and that their seeds got these women pregnant and they gave birth to these giants who were mighty men of old men of renown are you following my story now so we traced that these women were minding their business all of a sudden these beings come that there is a possibility ah goodness so spirits can get physical women pregnant so we see that there's no argument there are we together this information is useful we need it because that's how jesus came into the world are we together now listen carefully jesus came into the world how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man joseph has not finished paying my dowry don't embarrass me and he said no a spirit is coming from heaven i will show you this is the mystery ah goodness i'm already excited let me just take it easy so these spirits came and all of a sudden when the women gave birth to children the children started growing unusually they had features that were superhuman it was clear that these spirits were not pure humans the seed of lucifer in those children started causing them the bible says god saw that the wickedness of man this spirit started introducing attributes upon the earth men were not that wicked all of a sudden there was a fabrication of different levels of wickedness and then the people in the earth ah, who are these beings that can be so wicked that means a normal man has a maximum level to which his heart can conceive evil if evil goes beyond that level something else is responsible for that level of heartlessness follow me because as i taught you this seed is still on earth today Are we together the bible says that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was evil continually this was not the case now man had become so 
prayed the bible says and it repented the lord that he had made the man in earth and it grieved his heart now watch this thank you darling did you know the lord said i will destroy man whom i have created from the face of the earth both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air for it repented me that i have made them just stop there god is regretting these spirits have found their way back into this adamic civilization they were there casted now with the ability to reproduce they found a way of creating continuity for themselves because remember the law of territory if you don't have a body these angels these spirits because they are not demons it is demons that don't have bodies angels have bodies that's why they could come to even meet angels can translate themselves into physical bodies is that true remember the angels that came to abraham they didn't come as ghosts flying they were human beings this was what caused the flood of noah are you getting what i'm saying now the flood of noah was a system of judgment that god needed to annihilate that entire race the question is the giants let me use you again the giant children that were born by these angels and this when the flood happened because spirits don't die in terms of cessation of living the bodies now died and the spirits are you getting the point now the spirits of all those race the name of those giants as you know theologically speaking is called the nephilims are we together now this disembodied spirits because every time a spirit is not in a body what happens it becomes restless these spirits they can't go to heaven they can't go to hell and they float within the circumference of earth and the second heavens and that is the reason why these spirits today are those we call demons listen carefully the demon spirits that you call are the spirits of these nephilims the sons before demons came there was already darkness listen carefully before demons came they were already fallen angels the fallen angels and the daughters of men produce what we call demons disembodied spirits now watch this look up i want to prove a few things for you i, I hope that you are getting what are you get are we are we still together let me just know that we're together do you know that fallen angels cannot possess men there is no record in scripture from genesis to revelation where a spirit was inside a man are we together now and then they ask who are you and he says um i'm angel so 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 and so no no it may look like it is the spirit but those i will tell you what their office is because those fallen angels are still walking today but they are not the ones inside men are we together those disembodied spirits are the ones who move and i hope you know that the disembodied spirits that fell are by far more than the number of human beings on earth that's why ten thousand of them will not mind finding accommodation in one man there is a desperate need for accommodation among those demon spirits till today look at look at how they cry when you want to cast them out that means they don't <laughs> listen are you seeing the extreme violence now please don't feel bad many of you have been delivered many of you will be delivered this night but listen notice that you will see a kind quiet person brother or sister and all of a sudden when those spirits are provoked by the power of god it will take five people to suddenly hold one person you see the way people are rolling on the floor there is no power you try rolling like that by yourself and see what happens another entity this disembodied spirit to the point that when jesus was about to cast them they begged him they said jesus you know our condition you are not in ignorance as to what is happening to us where do you because they know it's hard to find a body that can allow you to be comfortable that's why when they find it they go straight to the realm of your mind and create a system that makes sure even if they evict them they can still come back please understand what i'm teaching you and you will be free you will experience victory and you will possess your possession demon spirits 
they are everywhere today as i'm talking now there are demon spirits around hoping and waiting where will i get accommodation now are we together now where will i get accommodation now this is what it means for spirits to die when they say demon spirit should die is the restlessness that is created by exiting it from a mortal body it is an intense state of torture no spirit no spirit is like putting you inside water and dropping you there that's exactly what you do when that's why they cry and they beg they make sure they don't leave they negotiate all kinds of things jesus have you come to cast us shall we have a time now jesus said go say let's look at they drowned the swine they were so desperate for bodies they entered pigs for a few minutes just so that they can find a place to rest the pigs were entering water they said yes let's just be rested before you enter the water you see why satan hates deliverance you may not know what it is that is the reason why when you cast out devils you are in trouble because satan will mobilize any kind of attack on your life attack on anything he knows what is happening is god helping us are we understanding something so this spirit but there are other kinds of spirits i hope you know that the fallen angels that fell with lucifer are not the only angels that have fallen <laughs> there are many group of offenses there are others who fell so bad they are in chains now they are not even allowed to be featured in. that's the level of wickedness those guys are more wicked than satan himself what they did to god we'll find out when we get to heaven that god and they they were cast down not to the earth satan was cast down and left in the earth but these spirits were taken straight to the bottomless pit and were bound there with chains because for the sake of the elect they were not left on earth what would they have done that means even satan would have been afraid of them I'm demystifying this thing to you whether it comes as occultism whether it comes as Oboni there is a central system of operation is when it comes to execution that all those variations come the foundation of all of this is this spirit finding a resting place and when this <sighs> these angels watch their children called demons move around with no bodies in intense torture and so they say let's work together we will coordinate you while you enter the people will tell you what to do and so paul said wow so there are principalities there are powers there are rulers then there are others who don't operate in the earth realm they are spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places they all coordinate themselves one one demon spoke on behalf of ten thousand of them it was when jesus asked him who are you he now said we are many oh forget that you are hearing only my voice there is a an intelligent organogram brothers and sisters if one human body can host ten thousand demons then it's important for you to listen one demon one body can be so powerful if one body can host God why can't it host demons that a man's body can be the temple of the living God let me just compose myself and get somewhere because if you don't understand this what are you delivering you see where we miss it we just come and tell somebody there's a spirit oh yeah we bend his head and just turn him around oh yeah you must come out sorry sorry yeah i'll hug you after i'm done with my example and you turn his head around and the guy just says man let me just quietly fall for this guy to leave me in peace and he just falls down and you you tell him to say thank you jesus he repeats after you you get up and you are happy and the demon spirit say wow what ignorance advantage advantage demon spirits 
can dwell in your spirit demon spirits can dwell in your mind demon spirits can dwell in your body when you tell somebody you cast a demon it just comes out you don't know where it came out from it will re you the same way it comes out from your spirit your soul and your body physically it will look the same it takes discernment to know what happened and the authority of scripture that guides you if that person you are delivering is a believer then you know certainly it must not be from his spirit because he that is joined to christ is one spirit are we together but that does not mean this is where many of us have been surprised because for many years you believe that no these demons cannot find expression you came for koinonia to your surprise praise and worship was going on and all of a sudden you are feeling as if somebody is drawing your clothes you are saying what is happening the next thing you are sweeping the ground you are waking up after 10 minutes what is wrong and you are a pastor and you are, you are, you are a, 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 a prayer leader and your members were watching and say oh God prayer leader what I hope that this impact we received impartation a night before this deliverance so what really entered us no you don't stigmatize people a spiritual childishness to think just because a demon was casted out that no 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 you don't do that the fact that you are being delivered is a sign that you are in mount zion it's not something that should make you ashamed the, the, that means you have gotten to a place where the light and the power of god is forcing those spirits to be uncomfortable it's a thing of joy You have to understand these demon spirits because they are everywhere there are many ways they can enter that's why they are desperate you can know that these spirits are let me tell you this those spirits have on you their characteristics you know that they are in or around your life because whatever they produce in your life is abnormal are we together a demon spirit can find expression and you can start having abnormal passion for food you can eat the food of 10 people it's called gluttony it's not a medical condition the spirit is eating through you even you you know that by myself i cannot eat this kind of food listen listen this spirit now enters you and begins to manifest an unusual passion then you marry one wife the spirit is not satisfied with one woman you now say oh let me just be careful this is my one and only wife the spirit says no way and all of a sudden you add 12 more and the spirit he says more you add 12 more and the spirit says you are delaying me let's let's switch to to the point that the spirit can be patient if he doesn't find women it will make a man like a man it's not normal these are the spirits behind it listen very carefully that's what happened in the days of Noah these spirits you see are not weak they are not foolish they are not stupid the moment they find a body they start manifesting their characteristic the same way when the Holy Spirit finds a body all of a sudden an anointing you shouldn't have I shouldn't know your name where did it come it's obvious that it's not me something has taken charge of my faculties and is revealing to me something that I should not know ordinary me if i stand close to you maybe if we fight you will even beat me but all of a sudden i will lift my hand and this guy is on the floor now is that me no the same way i'm supposed to give you peace ordinarily but because of the demon spirit in me when i come near you your life must scatter it's not me hear me married people this is a mistake people are coming with forces and influences they don't even know and you find uh, this is the mistake that prophets make again listen carefully especially if you're in the prophetic here because they now look and say oh your wife is a witch she's not a witch for some reason she's she's hosting a habitation of certain spirit beings that are creating an effect even her she will tell you i don't know why everybody i come near if it's their business it dies if it's everything it dies are you seeing why some of you the moment somebody comes to say i love you i want to go and see your parents the spirit in him will say am i not already there so what do you want to do now tragedies listen very carefully those spirits feed on things and they put in you desires that will continue to feed them while they remain 
that's why you can sit down and they will wake you in the night to carry your laptop and type something you should not watch and you are watching you hate what you are watching but the spirit is feeding on it it is the atmosphere that will keep it there your majesty your majesty that come to you in the dream world they carry the face of a man they carry the face of a woman they carry the face of an object a loved one it doesn't matter they are doing something to you all of a sudden you want to give someone a job and you say by tomorrow please come and collect the job you go to bed notice all of a sudden they have come the dream will carry different you may see yourself in primary school second it doesn't matter what form it comes they are still the ones listen to me all of a sudden they may come and molest you they may come and do whatever they want to do and you stand up in the morning to you you don't know what happened you dress very smart sir i've come to collect my employment letter and the man will say if i see you here you had the testimony of our mommy here how can you tell somebody else this is what has made many of your helpers to leave you they will promise you send me your account and all of a sudden you go to bed and those spirits are here we don't know the bible said lest satan should take an advantage of you for we are not ignorant ignorant this is the number one cause number one cause number one cause of barrenness number one cause of impotency the jealousy of those spirits the very jealousy of those spirits with all honor to our doctors i love doctors but i'm telling you this is it can i surprise you i want to tell you something that many of you may not believe i hope and pray that you may believe it i that's why you see i struggle with tonight's teaching it is possible for a woman to carry a seed that is for both her husband and these spirits i wish i'm not the one teaching this sometimes this 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 work is very hard sometimes it's true go back to our villages and hear what our great grandparents with divination used to say sometimes they will see a child and stand and say no let me look at this child and look at this child and look at this child and say no something is wrong and this child is born with unusual trouble and unusual abilities usually doesn't last for too long and just dies and goes but within that 12 to 15 years the trouble that that child causes for the family what can this one is not a deliverance issue this is another seed that is not human can I tell you this don't feel bad we are praying don't feel bad this is how fibroid is formed what you call fibroid is the aberration of the intercourse between these spirits are we together now an attempt for these spirits that's why it grows in the same place where a baby should grow as a baby is growing is growing too and notice that 90 percent of the time it will kill the baby yet you say it's not alive from the womb already ask jacob and esau that from the womb the children were already there they were already fighting ask jesus and john you call them they are just fetuses whereas there was communication going on when mary met with um elizabeth the babies too met with themselves how are you how are you we're on our way coming oh i will come before you make sure you do it nice they were interacting
humbly sit down when you know these things you will appreciate the power of god and the victory of christ i know this may look like a messy teaching tonight but just allow me tidy this up and then you will walk back and now find out that nothing just happens nothing watch this these demon spirits till today until jesus comes they are searching for bodies to find expression they are in our fathers that's why our fathers behave unusually they are in our mothers that's why they behave unusually wife that's the mystery behind the stubbornness and your wise decisions of your husband he may be well-meaning notice that most of those people a time can come they are calm and understanding and peaceful and cooperative and then suddenly something comes when you are bringing someone out of a prison cell there's a sign here that you will never steal anybody's thing you will sign and say i won't do anything say oh yeah be born again I'm, i i i will be a serious person i will even be serious for the first two days he will go to the farm doing well until that spirit now knows there is a stronghold are we together i will teach you this on deliverance there is already a doorway that allows it so the spirit goes on vacation as that brother is in the farm he will make another person annoy him because all these attributes of the flesh are doors with a simple anger it returns it has entered the guy doesn't know all of a sudden the guy gets up and says you hit me and beats him and kills him he's back to the prison he's wondering what am i doing on my way back to the prison the spirit has come back to his house because when a spirit leaves a man it doesn't wave at you it allows for some time the frustration of a lack of habitation will make it come back and say that womb i left let me go back and find out what is there oh there is a child there now that home i went there is joy now i need a space for myself and the moment they find expression they will have to start executing their own attributes have you not been surprised look at those who steal if they are under the influence of that demon hide anything anywhere the person will stand it's like word of knowledge he will just look around and say Can't lift that carpet you will carry the money again he doesn't know it's true i'm telling you this you know i'm not lying you hide the money anywhere one day you hide it inside the ceiling he will just stand and stand and look up the spirit is saying look up that's where it is I know I know a true story a true story of a couple I counseled some years ago they were about to get married all of a sudden from nowhere very wonderful lady who loves the Lord the lady brought a report crying that they said she was positive with HIV ah, she even me I was surprised because a lady that I know very well behaved lady I said what happened where did that one come from and all of a sudden when I was looking in the realm of the spirit God just opened my eyes and I, as soon as I touched that spirit something strange happened now I'm, I'm not saying you should go out and create trouble but something strange happened the spirit started manifesting and speaking around and he said at the point of the test it entered the doctor doctors you are my friends I'm just being thank God you are born again we just finished an outreach there are many things that if we do not know there are many people carrying reports that are not true there are many people carrying things that are not true it is this same spirit that appear what is hiv hiv is called aids abi acquired is acquired meaning it's not within you it came from somewhere acquired immunodeficiency syndrome I'm, I, I hope i'm right where do you think it came from where do you think cancer came from when you understand this you will know why all of a sudden jacob did something do you know i will be showing you jacob slept and had a dream and jacob saw where the males that pregnanted the female goats came from he was in a dream he looked above and saw that all the males in the realm of the spirit were spotted Hi. <laughs> it was not laban's males no they came from somewhere that's why it didn't matter what laban said 
the results were manipulated from the realm of the spirit when you are assisted from the realm of the spirit it doesn't matter what the disadvantages are there is a system to change everything this is not my discussion this night but i don't don't tempt me to have to go and show you please that these spirit interactions must be there for satan and demons to find expression no man just enters trouble like that and no man just comes out like that there must be that spirit interaction let me show you something you're tempting me for us to genesis 30 let's look at it genesis 30 25 we'll look at 25 to 43 jesus thank you pray in the spirit please while we are opening this hallelujah look at this look at this let me talk about jacob and laban now i'm establishing a point here and it came to pass when rachel was born joseph that jacob said to laban send me away that i may go to my place and my country we're reading it's a long reading let's see how fast we can go just keep just keep projecting and let's go he said give me my wives and all of that and all of that go to 28 jacob is discussing with laban now and he said appoint me thy wages and i will give thee 29 we're reading down to 40 there about and he said thou knowest that i have served thee and how thy cattle was with me 30 for it was little which thou hadst before i came and it is now increased to a multitude and the lord had blessed thee who blessed thee talk to me who blessed thee the lord has we'll see how that lord did the blessing the lord had blessed thee since my coming and now well shall i provide for my own house 31 and he said what shall i give thee jacob he said don't give me anything if thou will do with this one thing i will again keep thy flock what is the one thing 32 i will pass through the flock today removing from thence all the speckled and spotted cattle and all the brown cattle among the sheep and the spotted and speckled among the goats and of such they shall be my hire so he's saying i will go round your ranch all the cows and the sheep that are spotted i will pick them at this point there were not many i hope you know that and then he says so shall my righteousness answer for me in time to come when it shall come for my hire you know this and that and that everyone that is not speckled or spotted he was saying that if you find it with me then take me as a thief are you getting the idea now the bible says so laban said behold i would that it might you know might be done according to your word 35 and he removed that day all the goats that were ring straight and spotted and so on and so forth and so forth go to verse 40 go to verse 40 jacob went on a journey there's uh, there's no time to prove it but you will see that jacob simply went on a journey for three days jacob returned back after three days and suddenly saw spotted calves he said no something is going on here the goats and cows and sheep were not pregnant the normal time that goats there because the males that got them pregnant were not part of the fold they came from somewhere the same way the bible never says jesus was pregnant for nine months no it's not on record that jesus was pregnant for nine months jacob did separate the lamb and set the faces of the flocks towards the ring stake and all you know all of this and he put his own flocks and put them you know this and that 41 and it came to pass whensoever the stronger cattle did conceive that jacob laid the rods before his eyes the eyes of the cattle in the gutters that they might conceive among the rods when we read to 43 we stop there but when the cattle were feeble he puts them not in so the feebler were labans and the stronger jacobs last verse 43 then we'll go to verse 41 and the man increased exceedingly and had much cattle and made servants and men servants and camels and asses now go to chapter 31 let me search it here 31 from verse 10 to 13 Genesis 31 read with me one to read and it came to pass at the time that the cattle had come I just jumped from verse 1 to 9 verse 1 to 9 was the frustration of, of Laban's sons they started saying so now Jacob has taken everything what inheritance do we have 
and the bible is showing us how god assisted jacob to produce that result are you ready and it came to pass that at the time that the cattle conceived that i lifted up my eyes and saw where in a dream so jacob was dreaming and the dream now revealed what was happening that was not there physically what did he see in a dream i behold the rams which leaped upon the cattle were ring staked speckled and i beheld i saw in my dream that there were some cattle that were making these ones to be pregnant that were not part of the are, are you with me now he's not awake oh he's seen in a dream 11 hmm. and the angel of the lord so the angel was there we know that there are angels and other cattle came from another realm he spoke to me in a dream and he said jacob and i said here i am verse 12 mm. and he said lift now thy eyes and see all the rams an angel is showing him another ram somewhere that is not part of laban's flock all they needed was laban's females the males came from another realm the same way all the fallen angels needed was the females of men the males were the angels with their seed all the rams which leap upon the cattle are ring staked speckled and grizzled for i have seen i had to introduce some other animals to come and give you speed of result because i have seen the wickedness of laban so i came to assist you with extraordinary result that is not of this realm 13 i am the god of bethel this is why i'm doing it where you anointed with a pillar and where you vowed a vow unto me he said arise get thee out of this land and out of thy kindred jacob woke up and all of a sudden the males were not seen physically but when the females gave birth they were all speckled and laban said how did this thing happen but God said, Jacob, let me show you. So when you see a woman frying akara and building a house with that akara, there is an assistance. It, it cannot just be about 10,000. No, the realm of the spirit came to assist men. This is a testimony of this ministry. This is a testimony of my life. We are not alone. He sent his angel. There is the angel of his presence. And if you don't believe what I just taught you, the devil will destroy you and you will never. Now, when you see unusual results, you don't question it because I have shown you that heaven can assist men. He said, remember the Bethel. I am the God of Bethel. So was that angel an angel? No. I am the God. I came to supervise your speed. I have seen how Laban mocked you. And is it not me that said I will restore? So let me do it now. I will bring my own male cattle from everywhere. Are you seeing why the Bible said the cattle on a thousand hills? Where is it? It's not a location on earth. The cattle. God has it. The next time somebody gets a miracle alert and you are asking where did the money come from? Does that sound wise? No. lest satan should take advantage of us for we are not ignorant i have taught you now that the realm of the spirit can assist men the same way when you see so that you stop this counseling that doesn't make sense you see an unusual thief an unusual troublemaker a man who marries 11 wives and is not tired that man does not need counsel what's the name of that group that used to discipline men that social group social welfare even if you like report him to efcc there is a spirit a normal man should be satisfied with his wife alone the moment a spirit comes no unusual characteristics unusual attributes unusual wickedness when a man carries a knife and takes one of our little ones here and is slaughtering a baby like this my brother my sister that's not a normal human being a spirit is using his hands to hold a knife remember that when these spirits show up they are so wicked 
Jesus said one of the signs he says before the coming of God it shall be like the days of Noah that means there will be a repeat of this again this spirit in an unusual way will multiply wickedness but the hope is that the power of God too and the assistance from heaven will also be multiplied upon the saints that means that the revivals that are coming you will see dimensions of the spirit at work in a man that you have never seen in church history So accidents don't just happen no you are just driving and then the car just veers off my brother the car did not just veer off a spirit attempting in frustration to either kill you don't feel bad don't feel bad whether that happened to your loved ones so that's why God is teaching us a pastor can have a ministry and when the ministry wants to rise because he's ignorant of this that spirit can enter him and all of a sudden you will find out that is five months of intense hatred from members they will hate you for no cause and the ministry dies lest satan should take an advantage of me demons can enter people demons can enter homes they can enter churches when they enter they execute the will of satan you can be born again they will not touch your spirit but i guarantee you they will come to your mind and build a fortification around your mind and still feel safe as though they were in your spirit so that your being born again makes no difference as far as you are concerned this is the mystery behind these things so you see them in your sleep when you wake when you sleep and you wake up and read like i shared with you ah we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness and you don't know who to tell you are sad good things want to happen these wicked spirits come in let me tell you progress and breakthrough is not very difficult it's the spirits that make it so hard you are near your breakthrough like this do you know these spirits can relocate your destiny helper just so that you will suffer while men slept the enemy came with his seed and planted it don't feel embarrassed that when you look at your life you see the outworkings of these seeds because i don't know if we have that time now if we don't have it we'll do part four at after the miracle service no problem i don't just want to rush this you have to appreciate this for me to teach you the dimensions of deliverance because Casting out a spirit is only one of the dimensions of deliverance. If you stop there, you didn't do well because the spirit will return. Are we together? If I push this door open and I leave that door open, am I still safe? Please talk to me. That spirit for sure will come back. Their determination to return to you was not left as a secret in the Bible. The Bible is very clear about the fact that if a demon leaves you, it will try to come back. That's why you find out that people can be free for 10 years from poverty. And then 17 years, the spirit now comes. He says, it's been a while, let me come back. A man can be married, loves his wife. After she gives him three or four children. And then all of a sudden, what he was doing when he was 20, 21, comes back when he's 41. That's why you find out that a man loves God and is walking passionately. And then before you know it, when he's age 55, he will go back into a gay lifestyle or do something. And you are wondering, at 55? The American nation ignored this. Satan proposed a doctrine to the West that exited the issue he, he just created a safe zone for himself in our teachings notice that satan didn't remove everything he just found the hardest part of it and created a theology that keeps him safe and look at the result today listen hold on guys let me tell you this listen to me I have been a victim of these things that I'm telling you. If you don't conquer this thing, you will never last. 
Are you getting what I'm saying now? That's the reason why it looks like no matter, no matter how you do well, oh, um, there's no cause in my life. I am free. I don't have any, no devil. Don't talk about any cause to me. The spirit will just keep quiet and be watching you. And all of a sudden, the same way it took your father and rubbished his life, took your mother and rubbished her life, you will suddenly find out that you got married. You find out that you got married. Watch this. And all of a sudden, you will become a replica of your father. A replica. Remember, he started with your father slapping your mother. He said sorry once. Then he did it again. The third time he said, I won't say sorry again. I will give you a dirty slap. I paid your dowry. Now, because you thought you were a pastor, it will leave you just like that. And then you keep managing it for a while. And then after nine years, the demons will make sure it bites you where it is hard. And you turn and give her a slap and find yourself. And two of you will sit down and counsel yourself. Say it will never happen. And before you know it, you would have done it many times. I'm not telling you this to show you how powerful Satan is. I'm only giving you a sense of appreciation. Because deliverance is possible. And complete deliverance is possible. If complete deliverance does not happen to you, you will never possess your possession. Believe me. Believe me. This is the Bible. Obadiah 1.17. Please give it to us. The sons of Jacob will possess. It is their possession. But there is a mystery. Are you seeing why many of our parents just said, don't worry. I will get the job. For 25 years, they didn't get any other job. 25 years no other job no lifting what of the families where women are the ones who feed the men if you are a man and you ever try to rise up those horns will squash you down when mommy called me sorry to just make reference to her i saw her text the fact that i don't reply your text doesn't mean i don't look at it when i saw her text I knew immediately what was wrong. I knew that they were controlling powers that have followed the life of this dear young man. I prayed for him here before he left. And I knew that if God does not help this man, you will be surprised that one day, are you seeing why people go abroad for 10 years and return back like thieves? You don't hear from them from a long time. You think they built houses, they are coming to give you money. They return back in shame. They start moving from country to country through deserts to arrive in Lagos. When the young man sent me a text, I looked at it. Somebody gave you a job and people don't just change their mind. When things just change suddenly, just know that a spirit just came in. The same way if it can change for the positive. I hate you, but I just change. You know that ah, this is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost has stepped in. The man, and I called him. How are you my friend I said fine i said let's pray i said when i pray for you you are going to get the job father in the name of jesus it's not what i'm saying jesus said go it is what you are standing on it is not just the articulateness of your words it is the office and the revelation that backs you so you can say one word go and the demons don't hear go the demons see all the mysteries that support what you are saying this is what produces result. Many people think it is in the articulateness of the English. I now, standing by my left, adjure you that you move. No, that is grammar, my brother. Demons don't hear grammar. The revelation. When Jesus said, go. Go is not enough to take demons away. It was the rock that he was standing on. Two houses were built. It is the rock you are standing on. He said, this is how I will build my church. You will not just speak. It is what you are speaking on that supports your results. When I prayed for that gentleman, I just dropped the phone. I knew what would happen. Because all I did, you would think it is me that produced the result. I know what to tell the Holy Spirit. I know the factor that must be introduced in that equation. I knew that except the angel of the Lord comes to rescue. And because they are always ascending and descending, 
they confirmed the words of his messengers all i did was to create space for the holy spirit let there be space for you in this equation and all of a sudden he steps in and i don't know how many hours i don't think it was up to three hours you see mommy dancing here she's not just dancing for nothing that's why you hear somebody say i just came for koinonia and think the things didn't just change god will examine your equations and see how you threw him out and just say okay let me be introduced here and all of a sudden things change things change i will stop here so that we'll pray after miracle service I will teach you now on casting out devils and I'll teach you deliverance through transformation and the discipline of conformity. All of this will come in. Let's do part four. Let's not rush this thing. I want us to take some time, hold on, before you stand up, to take some time to pray. It is not a secret that these demons are around. They use all kinds of ways to enter your life and the flesh is their greatest access. You are alone in the room and you are hearing sounds. Bam! ceiling window looks like it's opening they are looking for an access point how can i make this person fear and doubt the faithfulness of god so that i can find expression in his life you are just hearing like wind is blowing all of a sudden you imagine somebody has to be near me and then anger have you noticed that every time good things are coming a good relationship a brother just comes just at the point he's about to propose that week something dangerous happens you are at your angriest point and the brother says no i can't marry you then you return back these are the spirits playing on the minds of the saints messing up our breakthroughs the day you are supposed to go for a job interview you are running then your car breaks down your car didn't have any business breaking down but it broke down as soon as you arrive there they say sorry the gate is closed so you stand there and say life not life spirits spirits my brother spirits they are about to pay your father his gratuity the demons will hook the money until the day they diagnose him of having cancer that will spend 150,000 for chemotherapy and the rest then the money suddenly comes and because you have to use it to spend it and spend it and spend it and spend it how about students that enter the exam hall they thought they went alone you conduct tutorials for others and enter the exam hall as soon as you sit down you look at the paper but i solved this question yesterday night what happened these demons hijack your understanding when you are out of the exams you go back and see the paper in your house that you solved it with sometimes you're on your way to the exam to write your final year exam and you forget one question paper in your pocket you didn't forget you were assisted to leave it there all of a sudden an invigilator comes and says what is that stand up and said no that's it you are going listen to what i'm telling you because god delivered me myself it will be impossible to be doing ministry at this level just talking and saying this i am a product of the deliverance that happens upon mount zion there are people there is no good thing you give them that blesses them give them money it will be the reason for their trouble help them give them favor they will cause trouble our loved ones may be like that for many years the church has been deceived and misled into thinking everything is just normal into thinking oh everything is fine i am okay just because we have some little money we allow the devil fool us into believing that we are all right the devil can allow you to continue being a preacher keep winning uh, the the loss keep healing the sick while he hijacks your mind and continues to do what he's doing at age 12 you see your son already reproducing you and you are saying my god what is this brothers and sisters i tell you the truth by the authority of the word of god i know that i'll be criticized by many people for these teachings 
but let me tell you this i was called into the office of an apostle listen i share with you a mystery that will help you to possess your inheritance i will not lie to you and sit you down and allow the devil tear your life into pieces let this deliverance be perfected in you you will you will be shocked at the things that will happen you're already hearing testimonies job will become child's play everything will become child's play barrenness stories there are many of us who would have been in ministry by now the call of god is upon you you know the call of god is upon you but these spirits won't let you rest they are all around you they will make sure that every helper god brings to your life you do something to them that drives them against you that's why some of us don't have friends it's not like you are bad the moment a friend comes to your life wonderful person oh i i i love you i want to help you the spirits will make something happen you will betray the person you will lie against the person you will do something stupid that will kill your opportunity and all of a sudden they will leave you but tonight brothers and sisters the devil is a liar I don't know if there's someone here who is tired who is saying enough is enough i can't let this happen if you are free your loved ones are not free so in any case there is something for you to do I've not yet taught you next the next time we meet when we now start talking of deliverance we are going to look at the deliverance ministry of Jesus just Jesus leave Paul leave this just Jesus and we are going to see what Jesus did with this spirit and you will see that Jesus said this kind go it not there is a kind you don't just generically tell demons go no there are different spirits the way you drive a fallen angel from influencing a life is not the same way you cast out a demon now the fallen angels may be illegal occupants but the demons are legal occupants they came by birth the women gave their wombs freely so they are not just run no they have a right This kind goeth not. This kind goeth not. This kind goeth not. Listen, I shared with you during the prayer and fasting. Remember that there is a physical, atmospheric temperature that drives demons by itself. Not um, there is a there is a physical. There are places on earth that demons cannot stay. There's no preacher there. The environment itself drives them. It's in your, it's in your, it's in your Bible. That when a demon leaves a man, it goes through where dry regions, dry regions, hoping it will find something dry that it and, and not finding any. It's uncomfortable and it comes back. Who casted it from that place? Nobody preached with it. It left that place and preferred to come and fight you than to remain in the wilderness. listen witchcraft was a proposition that these spirits brought to men men are not so smart to know that you you should kill somebody there are wicked people from where we come from that will exchange the life even of their children for themselves have you seen old people who don't die every time they are sick you hear that someone is dead and then they, they are alive all of a sudden they become fine no sir read in the bible a king who slew his son to keep his own life Ah, ah, nobody will bring a knife to my neck to keep it. Ah, we are going to pray. 
is just going to be praying in tongues now i want you to find a corner my brother my sister take your life serious in the next five minutes instrumentalists just charge the atmosphere for us blast in tongues and refuse upon mount Zion. and it shall come to pass in that day and it shall come to pass in that day in that day in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing please pray pray please pray if you are tired hold the hands of somebody that can agree with you Pray for your destiny. Pray. Enough is enough, oh God. The victory of Christ, the work of Jesus on the cross, cannot be in vain. The substitutionary sacrifice of the Son of the living God cannot be in vain. of the fathers 
no matter the enchantments of the ancient I come by a new order and I declare my womb will produce that seed of the woman that will bruise the head of the serpent I cause five broil I cause five broil cause every devil Sapatata Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Brothers, I'd like you to pray. The spirit that keeps men in one place. You don't move forward. You don't move backward. You stay. No productivity. Every gentleman here, open your mouth and blast in tongues. Father in the heavens, this is better. Shabbatakatoskata. The yokes, the altars, and everything that tie my life, that tie my destiny, by the mystery of deliverance, I challenge. I challenge it is upon Mount Zion the spirits that cause failure. Shaka toka pech, shaka toka Hallelujah. Listen. Demons came into being when the spirit assisted men. So your victory comes into being when the spirit assists you. He says, I am the God of battle. I have seen the oppression that Laban has done. The victory will not just happen. Forget about the physical things in the realm of the spirit. You are going to cry for divine assistance. I provoke the ministry of angels over every affair of my life. Lift your voice and pray. Cry. Are they not ministering spirits? Are they not ministering spirits? My brothers and sisters, are they not ministering spirits? Send to minister for them that be the heirs of salvation. I call for assistance from heaven. Oh God of Jeshurun, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the deliverer. Shakatos Kataba, angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Judging the wicked. Delivering the prophecy of God concerning my life. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Every attribute of the flesh that gives access to any spirit in my life by the mystery of the blood, I declare that that door is closed forever. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Lift your voice and pray.
Hallelujah. We are still praying. I tell you, I feel fire in this place. Listen, everything God has shown you, either as a revelation from his word, or as a revelation from the realm of the spirit, you are going to declare. Jacob did not just see the spotted calves and left them in the realm of the spirit. They had to come and interact. The word must become flesh. I'd like you to lift your voice and cry. Jacob's katabata. Every anointing, every mantle, every mandate, every dimension, the prophetic, the apostolic, prosperity increase, speed deliverance that God has shown me. Lord, you showed me victory. I declare, I declare, I declare, it must find expression. prayer we are going to pray listen carefully whether you are an usher or not please if anyone is under the anointing or manifesting around you just help them are we together the very serious prayer we are going to pray now you are going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me it's time for you to come out it's time for you to go listen as you pray this prayer many strange things will start happening to you don't worry about it you just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling Shabbatakata. I cast every spirit. I cast every devil. I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, around my family. Shamakatos Kadabash. You are married also pray for your family pray for your children i cast every devil
Lord is healing fibroid. I'm seeing the Lord healing now. The Lord is healing fibroid. The Lord is healing fibroid in the name of Jesus. I command that devil. The Lord is healing fibroid. Now, the Lord is ministering to me. A mighty deliverance is going to happen now. It's starting with ladies. Any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, let the fire from heaven fall right now and command i command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside i command deliverance now i command deliverance now let the daughters of jacob possess their possession in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger it's a spirit it's leaving people right now uncontrolled anger is it's an unusual anger rage it comes you can see anything and you can do anything i'm seeing fire in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of this operation right now in the name of jesus i bring you deliverance I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against it now. Please help her. I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream. That's what I'm seeing now. And in that dream, you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished. It's a strong spirit of delay. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Help your wife. Right now in the name of Jesus. At the count of three, the spirit of delay. Hear the word of the Lord. Let God's people go now. One, two, three. I command that spirit. Go now. Go now. Please help them. Go now. This is one thing I do. Forgetting the things that are behind. No devil should take you back again. I command that spirit. Go now. I cast that spirit now. If there is anyone you know, whether you are here or anyone you know, that for some reason has not been able to take in, in the name of barrenness, whether you are here or you are standing for them, I want you to agree, I want to pray. Let's see the devil that will stop them from taking in. In the name of Jesus, anyone you know and you are standing for, that the devil, I don't care what the medical report is, that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children. In the name that is above all names, we release children from heaven. In the name of Jesus, we release children from heaven. We open every barren womb. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a group of people. You see, you have dreams frequently. And in the dreams, you see yourself receiving things. And it's something that in the physical, you are hoping to receive. 
but the moment you see it in that dream it will never happen again it's an irony it's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens the lord is asking me to deliver those people now please help her help her just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall right now in the name of jesus shakatos implantas kanasone hashamaria kata shakras kote bakatosa barekata eko shamama sanada kata rekete kete kete eskamara katos kaba Zatia, 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 Shekenekosha, Prakatos, Karikata. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare from the realm of the spirit, let there be deliverance for you now. Let there be deliverance for you now. Just two more points and we're done. Look at me. If you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always that the future is worse than the past. You never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher. You look at all your loved ones. They once worked. They once married. They once had children. They once had a house. You are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past. It's always once upon a time this was happening. I need to crush that devil from your life. Please help them. Once upon a time I was rich. Once upon a time I was married. Once upon a time, I was on fire for God. Once upon a time, I was a pastor. I had a church. No, the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day. When your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday, there is a spirit reversing the equation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow right now at the count of three i declare that spirit must let you go one two three let them go now let them go now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please just be patient with me we'll end now my spirit is heavy circles of repeated sicknesses i want to pray now it's not a normal thing whether it is hepatitis whether it is a blood related disease or whether it is every month malaria every month malaria every month typhoid you treat it it still comes back every month headache every month whatever it is hold on please the lord is showing me something i just saw like a pile of money and then I saw it disappear. And the Lord said there are people, money physically disappears, like lives their life. I'm not saying you waste it. You can keep 10,000 and come back and find 7,000 and nobody was in that house. It's not just money, items. You can wash clothes and hang it. You, you didn't steal it. You will come back, you will not find it. Listen, well, this is a, a deliverance series. Just allow me to help that lady. I'm seeing a lady in a vision now. You were alone. You washed your underwear in the night. By the next day, you didn't find two of them again. It's gone. From that day, something happened in your life in a strange way. Severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having. Uncontrollable pain. In the name of Jesus, 
everything the devil has taken from anyone I decree and declare by the anointing of the spirit let there be restoration now let there be restoration now let there be restoration now the Lord is showing me someone every time you see someone die in the dream a few weeks later it will happen physically now you have seen your loved ones you saw them last week you saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that so I don't know if it's your mother or something that died if we don't pray for you it's going to happen in the name of Jesus Christ I declare all oh death where is thy sting all oh grave where is thy victory I prophesy right now upon your life by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I command that death to pass over your family I command that death to pass over your family hallelujah just just let me just talk about two issues I'm struggling to share what God is showing me now this has to do with a group of ladies listen there is a lady here every time you see yourself in a dream you are a man not a woman that's why i'm struggling to share what i'm saying physically you are a lady but every time you see yourself in a dream it's like you are carrying the form of a man this thing has affected you even in the area of relationship if a guy looks at you and says i love you it's like it's like um it's, it's like you feel as if you are gay it's, it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter it's a demonic thing that I have to pray for you for a very demonic thing I'm seeing like smoke this is strange and then it is it's just like moving around in the air wherever those groups of people are I don't believe it's just one person it's an operation of darkness in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands right now and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost be free from that demonic siege now be free from that demonic siege now ah, hold on there is a lady a physical person appeared to you not a dream I'm not talking of your dreaming physically physical like you are seeing me like this appeared to you and was having a conversation with you appeared to you and was having a conversation with you and from that conversation your life was never the same again it looked like it was a woman that was appearing and talking to you like revealing to you some secrets that had to do with the past and from that day you started hearing voices even in the afternoon you can sit down and hear like people are discussing i need to pray for you if i don't pray for you very soon they will admit you in the hospital because they'll say you are talking and behaving like somebody who has a psychosomatic condition wherever that person is in the name of jesus i may not call you out because of time but i declare right now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that devil that spirit in the name of Jesus be free from it now I was going to pray for repeated cycles of sickness let that be the last let's pray if you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest I'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness you just place your hand on your chest I'm going to pray someone will shout under the anointing when that happens the anointing for this healing is not a sickness it's a pattern 
that God is breaking now. The moment that shout happens, I will rebuke that and then we are done for the night. We will continue the miracle service. I will talk about it shortly. Thank you, Jesus. Just lay your hands there. The power of God is looking for one person. There's somebody that will shout. That's the shout. Right now, in the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, every pattern of reoccurring infirmity, reoccurring sickness, whether it's a blood related disease, every pattern, I say it again, of reoccurring sickness, reoccurring disease, right now by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command the spirit responsible, lose your hold now, lose your hold now, Lose your hold now. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold now. Hallelujah. In this series, I gave you an instruction. Our time is gone. I want to give you another one now. Please listen very carefully. I told us we have been doing it. I know a number of you may not have been so faithful. Just try to be consistent. Do it out of revelation. At least 15 minutes in the night, wake up and pray. Pray in the spirit. Declare the victory of Christ. Just forget about whatever dream or whatever experience you're having. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Are we together now? The next meeting we're going to be having here is a miracle service. Listen, I'm taking our time. Our miracle service will not be on Friday listen carefully our miracle service will be on monday are you getting what i'm saying now not this friday not this saturday not this sunday on monday please listen on friday you are going to fast on saturday everybody you are going to fast are we together at least if you cannot do to six minimum at least to 12 and that i believe it should even be our little children any adult here should at least be able to reach 12 or 2 you will not die so friday you are fasting saturday you are fasting are we together sunday you are fasting i want you to come on monday the miracle service we are going to start by praying for the sick so that we'll finish that it's going to be a night of in Intense deliverance it please intense anybody you truly love even if it's your loved ones no matter where they are if they can find their way please come medical reports bring it all these threat letters whatever just bring it and let's cry to the God of heaven to arise and walk wonders here the plague of death you can collect as many people's prayer requests even if they cannot come just collect it we are going to take at least 30 minutes to just agree and pray in tongues and charge the atmosphere when we come are we together is a prayer is a prophetic is a strong deliverance meeting i just the lord put that in my heart so please listen i'm saying in this media please take note including those outside friday you are fasting just break on your own you don't have to come here or if you have your little friends you can just meet and pray and sleep be very spiritual it's not when you should go to somebody's house and you are disturbing them it's, it's a week of spiritual emphasis we are trusting god to push through that that jericho that dagon must fall once and for all friday you are fasting please don't let food cheat you 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 don't die if you don't eat for a few hours saturday you are fasting Sunday, you are agreeing, you are fasting. Monday, you can eat and do whatever. I like you to come here prayerfully and come here spiritual. From the opening prayer to the praise and worship, participate with all your heart. Are we together? By the grace of God, we'll make it the miracle service. But I, I, will, I will see the possibility if because of time we cannot make it both a communion and anointing service then i'll be patient the week that follows as we round up the series then we'll do it but we must combine it it must be 
a communion service and then an anointing service when i'll be teaching you now the forces of deliverance and the rest but this miracle service on monday i believe with all my heart for god to have given this message he's going to do something strange so it's not friday it's not saturday it's not sunday it's on monday but you fast on friday fast on saturday if you have loved ones those are connecting it doesn't matter what nation of the world if they care to follow they can follow in fasting and prayer are we together now let me give you the instructions on how to pray am i boring you am i wasting your time on friday because we have to pray with intelligence some of these anyhow prayers we do is what wastes our fasting we just fast and fast and pray and talk to ourselves and we don't get anything from it are we together if you can write please write and and please write and do it on friday your entire prayer for that friday is the mercy of god write it that's all that's all you are praying throughout friday by the grace of god just follow me i'm giving you an instruction in righteousness this is not religion the only prayer look for scriptures that talk about the mercies of god you are praying the mercy of god on your life on your family please just try to follow this instruction just just do as i'm teaching you by god's grace i will not mislead you from all through your prayer you are invoking the mercy of god his mercies are new every morning lord your mercy upon my life lord your mercy upon my past lord your mercy upon my family i cry and i receive your mercy upon my ministry don't go and stop saying oh god the other day you said you are going to give me tea and bread no just leave all that one friday the mercy of god are we together saturday is intense warfare intense warfare you are going to take out time to pray and challenge the gates write down a list of all the things that constitute a challenge in your life whether it is delay whether it is whatever write it down you are going to you are going to pray warfare there are many koinonia messages that you can get that relates to that you can play along if you want and pray intense warfare that means that as much as possible aside from a few things that you maybe like school of ministry that will be having lectures if you don't have anything doing please discipline yourself this carelessness sometimes is why the devil prevails over us find somewhere beg your friend to give you access to his room or one corner go to one forest somewhere just stay somewhere and pray your life out pray against patterns and everything you have seen lord this is what has happened but i'm standing by the power of the holy spirit so friday you are invoking the mercy of god no uh, saturday you are dealing with patterns and you are dealing with all of this on sunday all you are doing is thanksgiving that's all you are doing you are thanking him for everything for his mercies you can thank him and praise him in a dance you can thank him and pray just play worship praise him whatever you have to do and then on monday come with your heart write that egyptian that has followed you and carry them and bring them here with you and let the god of bethel arise for us on monday so friday we are praying the mercy of god don't forget go and do the assignment yourself scriptures look for scriptures go on on, on google and all of that use different references saturday is warfare saturday is not praise and worship saturday is not thanksgiving saturday you are engaging you are engaging the victory of christ mention situations one by one and take time to pray are we together and then sunday spend time singing dancing celebrating and thanking god and then on monday we are back please for our online community media make sure you remind us on thursday or friday remind us on what to do let's know you can put a, a a media montage or whatever it is you can add scriptures that can help us i could give you a few scriptures so that you guide us you can follow on facebook and twitter will be um, keeping you updated will be posting and all of that 
ask your loved ones i know some will say get out all these things i'm not doing don't fight them just leave them but as many they may not be able to make it on this ground but wherever they are around the world ask them to connect and also follow and you watch what god will do i'm leading you through the same way god led me to be free exactly the instruction god gave me and the things i did is what i'm introducing you to by the time i do the last series of the teaching you will know why i give some of these instructions are we together father we give you all the praise tonight you are god and there is none like you we submit to your wisdom we submit to your grace and lord i know that you have not called the seed of jacob to seek you in vain you have enlightened our minds tonight and lord i thank you because even by your spirit there will be a performance in our lives lord even from tonight let your people begin to enjoy strange breakthroughs in the name of jesus christ lord this is a week of deliverance i pray that you end age-long captivities once and for all from our lives in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i want to give someone an opportunity here to give his life or her life to jesus christ you are here you heard me preach you heard the word of god come expressly and you are saying man of god i need to make my ways right please don't be distracted i know we're rounding up let's not distract those who want to give their life to jesus you are at overflow three overflow two overflow one the main auditorium and those connected online you are saying apostle that nature that needs to be replaced that miracle has not happened to me or you are saying apostle i love jesus but at one point or the other things have gone haywire in my life and i need to make my ways right please wherever you are i don't want you to be ashamed please clear the way please clear the way all of you standing at the way please clear the way clear the eyes for them wherever you are you want to make this decision i want you to boldly get up and come right now very quickly very quickly if there is anyone there has to be someone who is saying man of god i'm handing my life to jesus if you are outside please clear the way for them as they come don't be ashamed make your way to the front right now make your way to the front right now there's someone coming make your way to the front if you are coming overflow three you can just walk to your projector stand but overflow one overflow two and the main auditorium make your way to the front there has to be someone the spirit of god is speaking to let's appreciate them don't be ashamed be bold rise up walk make your way and come to jesus are there people like that clear the way for them outside hallelujah please clear the way for them i still believe someone is coming there has to be someone if you're coming god bless you come quickly join them join them quickly those coming from the overflow outside quickly please hurry up if you're coming rush quickly 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 hallelujah god bless you if you're joining them come quickly thank you for this great decision i want you to lift your right hand high to heaven and say this from the depth of your heart god bless you my brother if you're coming my dear come quickly quickly and join them say lord jesus say after me passionately say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i have heard your word and I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life. I declare that from today, I am a child of God. I'm born again. The life of Jesus is at work in me. I declare that the grace to walk in victory is mine now in Jesus name. Father, I thank you for these ones. They have come. And they have made this decision for you let this decision last, last last in their life oh look at this little child adorable child come my dear 
go to that man just go to that man he will lead you to Christ that man sitting with a baby he will help you father thank you let this decision be real in their lives they will never be the same forward ever backward never even as you have prayed I crush every walkings of darkness over your life and I declare they are gone from your life now and forever in the name of Jesus Christ amen thank you for this decision please follow this gentleman there are people waving their hands I like you to follow all of them this one under the anointing just carry him follow them everyone please appreciate them very quickly hallelujah hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you